What's up guys? We're heading out to the field today and we're trying to answer the age old question of How far do these things go? Stay tuned. All right guys, so today's video is all about the Baofeng UV5R. How far can you actually talk one of these things? It is a, uh, it's kind of a loaded question, but it's always the first question that I ever get asked when I pull out a radio, or if anybody's generally interested in radio, it's the first thing they wanna know. How far can you talk on this radio? So we're gonna break it down. A lot of things go into it. It's kind of a loaded question, but we're gonna do our best to answer those questions. So let's get into it. So what is a Baofeng UV5R? Well, the UV5R is pretty much the gateway drug to all things ham radio. For a $20 Amazon pickup, you get access to five watts of handheld power. These are dual band radios, so they operate in UHF and VHF. And as you can see, they're pretty customizable. Swapping antennas and putting larger batteries is pretty easy, uh, along with a lot of different accessories for a pretty affordable price. We're just laughing about how they got the shit end of the stick because they've been walking all morning testing these radios and we've been hanging here at our little headquarter position but um i want to show you exactly what we're testing today three balfang uv5rs we got stubby antennas stock antennas and extended whips and we're testing them on low power and high power so we're going to get um uh, close distances and max distances but um there's a reason for that and we'll talk about that in the video when we figure out the results um I'm gonna eat my breakfast later. All right, so let's take a little closer look at these antennas we're gonna be using today. So what you see here is three common types of antennas. On your very left, you have our two inch stubby antenna. In the middle, you have your stock antenna, which is gonna come with your radio. And on the very right, you're gonna have your whip style antenna, a collapsible antenna. They come in different lengths. Um, but when you start talking about adding range to your radios, this is the first thing you want to consider is your antenna height. That's going to do a lot for you as far as adding distance to your transmission and getting clear transmissions. The next thing you want to consider when we're talking about adding range to your transmissions is the environment that you're operating in. These line of sight frequencies perform better or worse in different terrain. Refer to my comms 101 video if you are confused. So here's how the testing is gonna work. We split up in two teams, a maneuver element and a stationary headquarters element. Like we previously stated, we're gonna be using the Baofeng UV5R radio to conduct this test. We're gonna be testing these radios using three different style antennas, a two inch stubby, a stock antenna, and a 24 inch whip antenna fully extended now be advised these are not the best quality antennas but they are absolutely available additionally each antenna will be tested on two power settings low power which is one watt and high power which is five watts because of the environment that we're going to be operating in we've chose to use the VHF band So here's how it works. Our maneuver element is gonna travel down the trail conducting radio checks every one to 200 meters. Know your land nav, know your pace counts. We will repeat this process until we fail a comms check. At the end of these tests, we will plot all these grid coordinates on a map and get a real life distance. Please use this format and conduct the same test in your own area of operations. You may find very different results. All right guys, so we're at the little headquarter position. We're gonna bounce all our transmissions from here. We have a uh, maneuver element going down the trail. As you can see, it is raining, it's miserable. To the point that we got the packs all covered up over here. And our maneuver element is Probably about a mile or two that way when we're bouncing the comms check stay tuned
copy. Wait for my transmission. Mobile one, the static one. Do you copy? Mobile one, the static one. Please repeat. Mobile one, static one. I got your Lima Charlie on Cardinal one. Uh, Charlie Mike. Copy. Keep waiting. Going to move on. <laughs> They're getting tired. So we finished up our testing. We're on our way back to the truck now. We're gonna pull out the mats, plot some grid coordinates. But results were staggering. Kind of a surprise. Uh, stick around and we'll show you what we came up with. So let's see how the two inch stubby antenna performed. This was by far our shortest transmissions of the day. On low power, we got about 500 meters, approximately 0.3 miles. On high power, we got an additional 100 meters to round it out at 600 meters or 0.4 miles. Next up was the stock antenna. This antenna performed a little bit better than the stubby. On low power, we got 800 meters or a half a mile. When we bumped it up to high power, we got an additional 200 meters to round it out at 1,000 meters or 0.6 miles. Our 24 inch whip antenna gave us extremely long distances. I was blown away. Let's see how we did. Low power, we got 6.2 kilometers or 3.8 miles. On high power, we got 7.1 kilometers or 4.4 miles. This is an extreme difference when compared to the stubby and the stock antennas. All right guys, so the Baofeng UV5R, how far can you really talk on one of these? Well, the answer is, it really depends. Uh, now, as you saw, we had very different results when we switched the antennas and we changed power settings, right? Now, going from low power to high power really didn't give us too much, maybe a couple hundred yards at most. But the biggest thing was the antenna height, right? So it's easy to look at these stubby antennas and these stock antennas and see how we didn't really get a whole bunch of range and kind of come to the conclusion like, man, these things are trash and we toss them in the garbage. Do not do that. Uh, that was very valuable information and they're very valuable tools, right? So. Distance isn't always what we're trying to achieve. Now, I started this video by saying the number one thing that most people always ask is how far can I talk on a radio? Well, ironically, the second thing they always ask is how far can I talk on a radio but only have certain people hear me, right? Um, encrypted comms are very interested in that. But typically, those two things, I guess there's a time and place where they can be together, but typically it's one or the other. You want short, secure comms, where you want to blast as far as you can and gather information, uh, give more information. So I want you to think about that. Those short antennas that didn't perform as well, that doesn't mean they're bad antennas. That just means they fit into your comms plan in a very certain place. Use them accordingly, right? The number one rule of ComSec is only use the power setting needed to make the contact, right? So if I only need to talk to somebody who's 100 yards away, I don't need my two foot whip antenna fully extended on high power. So if you have one of these, turn it on and, and see where your power setting is at. Chances are it's probably set to high and it's probably been like that the whole time. And hey man, if, if that works for you, that works for you, but um, it doesn't always work for you. Uh, so 
this test was really supposed to be a very casual environment test. So, um, as you saw from the video, we weren't trying to push through mountains. We weren't trying to push through real dense forests. It was very casual setting. And that's what we kind of went, went for. Now, these radios are capable of pushing a lot farther than what you saw in the video. And be on the lookout for a video coming down the pipeline where we try to do that. We're gonna break out the, the Yagi antennas, the directional antennas. We're gonna use key terrain and elevation. And we're gonna try to get the farthest comms, calm shot that we can get um so that's coming down the pipeline but i hope this information serves you well and i hope you learned something as always get out in the field use your equipment and find out for yourself because your results may vary later